I just seen a dude on the side of the road with a homeless vet sign. I'm thinking like, man, if you a homeless vet, you gotta be on drugs. I know the motherfucking military. Every military nigga I know pay. They be paying y'all good. Even after y'all done serving, y'all be getting all kind of, you know what I'm saying, extra checks and programs and shit. Like, military take care of your ass financially. How the hell you a homeless vet? You on that stuff. Get cash, money, run up sacks, get that cash, avoid mishaps, hey say, how you doing? You know, same old, same old, this, that, like the old lady at church, I wear big hats, email my producer without proper syntax, and tell them send track, need be many songs I can't release, so they get stashed, locked away inside the vault, they trying to crack your code, spend the knob with the stethoscope, listen for play class, it's just that, but I don't get mad, sit back, have a big laugh, Roll a zigzag, pass it to my white homie. He just bought a grill, he look like Rick Rabbit. She called me Moses, split the waters with the big spat. Read a couple Buddhist texts, I'm trying to dip that. On a heavier note, I still miss that. Couldn't smoke the whole zip, just half. Took the rest, put it in a zip bag. Sold it to a miner, now they going to six flags. When I was his age, I don't remember if I did that. Forget that. Turkey drive giveaway. Feed in the hood. Giving out turkeys, I need no brown. Masons. Esports Summit. The mayor and his bitch. He's sitting there, or the former mayor, Kasim Reed. Um, here getting some content. Someone else canceled their event, and then having a little bit of experience without contract. But it's funny because. Um, Alright, story time, story time. Story time. Can y'all hear me? Can you hear me? Is that, is that plate cut go back there? Just to sit down? Or is it off like a... Okay, thank you. So, um... To be a chatty patty. So I see Kasim Reed here. Which is funny, because I just met the other day. I went to this church. I ended up not working with them just because I didn't feel like it. Literally, they weren't paying like that, so I said, fuck it. But before I left, I had a chat with a very prestigious Atlanta um, pastor. His name is Timothy Fleming. He has a documentary out on um, YouTube right now, Timothy Fleming. He's like one of the biggest he's like a big super big preacher super important figure in atlanta got a church on camelton road yada 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 so this nigga told me i'm chatty patty right now but it's, it's content it's content it's for the vlog so um yeah he told me that um he uh he had the low-key press um basically based on the taxes paid in the Campbellton Road, Southwest Atlanta area, they were due for a $300 million um, like upgrade um, from MARTA to you know make uh, accessibility and transportation more better in that part of town. But they got, um, they almost got swindled out of the $300 million because former Mayor Kasim Reed reallocated that money to the Emory University area. So he took the taxes that were paid in Southwest Atlanta and he was gonna move them and take that $300 million that had been set aside based on those taxes um, to go to Emory University. But um, this mayor found out about it, Timothy Fleming. He found out what was going on. It's kind of weird. We got doors coming. I'm kind of. But um, <laughs> yeah. So he he found out and he basically pressed the mayor about it, and he was like, "Hey man, you can't be, you can't be doing shit like this." 
So then basically he got the $300 million investment back into Southwest Atlanta. But this is just really funny because I literally met this nigga like four, he told me this story like three or four days ago. And now I'm at this event shooting and lo and behold, Mayor Kasim Reed is here. <laughs> or former Mayor Kasim Reed. So, um, you know, I ain't mad because I don't live in Southwest Atlanta and I ain't black. So it don't really matter to me. Um, that the black community is getting swindled and taken advantage of as it always does but it's just a funny no, it's just an interesting story an inter interesting coincidence that I see um, him at this event kind of what's the word uh, powwowing you know rubbing shoulders yeah. with the upper echelon we're in Lindbergh right now it's a really nice event esports this shit ain't nothing but money gaming and all that shit so they're trying to bring more gaming to Atlanta and shit like that so um, that's what's going on but yeah um, that's the story that I heard through the grapevine from Pastor Fleming um, like I can say I don't pick sides you know what I'm saying it's just kind of like look this world ain't shit you gotta be goddamn niggas don't know how to come together and, and do shit so it's always like I ain't really mad at a scene because it's like if you a nigga like you kind of just got to get it on your own and and just get in where you fit it. All that like come together community shit that shit don't work for niggas. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know what it is, but time and time and time again we see that's the scenario. So I'm not finna. You know what I'm saying? Try to make some shit happen that ain't happening. You know what I'm saying? So I hey. I might, you know what I'm saying, I ain't, yeah, do what you gotta do. That nigga seems seem like he living good. Uh, that's all that really matter, really. Take care of your goddamn self and get together with people who got the same mindset as you. Fuck what the race talking about. But if we can, you know what I'm saying, come together and get some shit done um, with the same mindset, we should be all right out this motherfucker. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm shooting this event, eSports. It's pretty cool. Um, so I decided to vlog. Um, probably about to leave though. Got enough footage, so that's that. But yeah, just a little, a little Atlanta, Atlanta secret history. You ain't gonna see that in no history books, but this is the shit that goes on. You know what I'm saying? Like the, when we start to talk about like behind the scenes, real shadow government in in full. What does that really look like on a day to day basis? look like like you know what i'm saying motherfuckers you pay your, you pay your taxes in your area and you don't get none of the benefits from that motherfucking shit and if you're not wise enough to know and involved enough in the government to know you're supposed to be getting shit your ass is gonna keep taking advantage of keep getting taken advantage of so you know what i'm saying stay stay smart stay sharp out here you know what i'm saying and uh yeah get with who you need to get with because your ass will get taken advantage of and don't nobody give a damn and jesus ain't coming to save your ass even though the pastor is the one that got the area and shit but you get what i'm saying so in continuation of the video i made yesterday this is the actual festival yesterday was just like the intro type shit like for the for the press and the public but this is like the actual event Yo, this shit is wild it's like a whole bunch of people watching video games like it's like the Super Bowl. Like they got the commentators like doing the play-by-play. -play. Niggas is, oh, oh, this shit. This shit is crazy, like. Like, like, video games is like a whole industry now. Like, it's not just niggas wasting their lives no more. Like, you can't really say that. Like, niggas, this shit is like a billion dollar industry. Like, this niggas, this shit is thick. Thicky, thicky. And I got the blicky, blicky. Getting some contenty tenty. But um yeah, it's like a different that's one thing I love about being a um, a videographer. It's like you you get to go into so many different worlds. Cause it's a nigga like me, I don't really like I don't really give a fuck about nothing, so I'm not really in no world. So that makes me like a good videographer because I can just kinda go into every world and just find like you know what I'm saying, I can just be like an observer in it. I I don't have to like be in it. I just like observe everything. I'm very observant. And I just like be going into everybody's different world and it's become like a fly on the wall because I don't get starstruck. I don't give a fuck about video games. I don't get, like I don't give a fuck about nothing. So it makes me the person, per perfect person to like capture everything. But this shit is cool though. It's cool seeing people like be into shit. 
you know what I'm saying? So I'm not really into shit other than like what I do, like music and video. Like that's the only, I'm, I'm into myself. Like you can say it's narcissistic, but I don't really give a fuck. That shit look hard. Damn, I try to shoot a music video on this motherfucker. Damn, that be hard. I might shoot one. That bit look crazy. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah. Get some content and um, it's cool. I'm about to head about this motherfucker, get what I need to get and dip out. But just see, I see what's going on in Uno World. It's pretty fucking cool, man. Bro, they got Super Smash Bros. I used to love Super Smash Bros, but I hate it. I used to always get my ass whooped. My brother and his older friends used to beat my ass and shit all the time. But it's a fine game, though. This is a fucking classic, bro. Yeah, they got Super Smash Bros. Bro, I used to hate this shit. I used to get my ass whooped all the time. You think it's getting money to play Super Smash Bros. That's lit. Good God. <laughs> Figured I'd shoot some video. Got the scenic. San Mercedes Benz Stadium in the background. But, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just talk a little bit about, like, I was going to talk about something I forgot and left me. The sceneries, but um, oh yeah, I was gonna talk about staying busy, the importance of staying busy. Spam call from Cairo, GA, not Cairo, Egypt. But um, you know, it's the social media age. Um, we have access to everybody's best lives all the time shit like that so it's real easy for you to kind of you know what I'm saying if you have too much downtime if you have too much time to ponder and sit and worry about what other people got going on it can get real real sticky you can get a little, little, little low-key depressing if you're always because you don't really know what anybody's going through you know what I'm saying everybody everybody life probably not as good as they making it seem and that's not their fault you know what I'm saying social media kind of exists for us to kind of put our best foot forward, you know what I'm saying? I do the same thing. So it's not to necessarily blame other individuals for doing that, but at the same time, realize that, you know what I'm saying? You're you're always in your life. So you see all the low points and the, the kind of boring moments and the not so pretty moments. And if you sit and spend too much time dwelling in those and then only seeing everybody else's highlights, you know what I'm saying? It can get pretty it can get, you know what I'm saying, it can make you feel some type of way. It can make you feel like you're not doing enough. Like, you know what I'm saying, you made the wrong choices in life. You should be doing what somebody else is doing. And that's not a real um, mentally healthy space to be in. And also it's not a productive space to be in um, in terms of, you know what I'm saying, improving your mood and improving your life. So it's like never... It's important to stay busy. Now, not just stay busy like, oh, you got a job and you hate and you're working a whole bunch of hours. You know what I'm saying? Not, you know, that's, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I understand he's got a job and shit like that. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's, um, that kind of busy might, might not add, that might just add to the problem, right? Because it's like, damn, you're always busy doing something you don't want to do. And then you're seeing everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, live their best life on social media. That can put you in a weird space. So it's important to stay busy doing what you love to do. Now, a lot of people, they might be in a situation where it's like, man, I don't really know what I love to do. I just, you know what I'm saying? I just want to get money to pay my bills and shit like that. And it's like, that's that's fine too. But it's like, um, you know what I'm saying? Just everybody has something that they like doing. Um, and if not, just even if you don't have anything you like to do, you can just like try new stuff. You can look, you can look at what other people are doing and see like what you think is cool. You know what I'm saying? You may not have no experience doing that or anything like that, so you think you can't do it. But it's like you can really do anything, especially now these days in the YouTube days, where you can just learn tutorials and stuff like that, or even just like getting into a new field or something. You know what I'm saying? You can do stuff for free, like with me um, doing video and shit like that, like. For a long time and even still now to this day i do a lot of shit for free like 
know what I'm saying? I just kind of put myself in situations um, because, you know what I'm saying, it, videography is something that I love to do and it don't really feel like work, even though, you know what I'm saying, niggas do need to check and do need to get paid off that shit at the same time. But it's like, just staying, I, I, I was in a space before where it's like, oh, I'm not gonna do it unless I'm getting paid. And then I'm sitting around bored because, you, know, you know what I'm saying, I might not have as many paid gigs as I want. And then the, the light bulb kind of went off. It's like, yo, like, if you love what you do anyway, just do it. And you know, you know what I'm saying? And the more you do it, is the more you practicing the life you want to live. And you will eventually gravitate more opportunities to even what you want to do. You always get paid for that. But then more importantly, like I said, going back to being busy, it's like, even if I'm out doing something for free, it's better than sitting at home you know what I'm saying, looking what other people are doing and um, being mad that I don't have, you know what I'm saying, a pay gig where it's like I can occupy that time doing something productive, you know what I'm saying? And when, you, when you're when you busy, um, you really don't have time to worry about what other people are doing you know, for the most part, you know what I'm saying? We all have downtime and, and, and other people, you know what I'm saying, that, that might creep into your life. It's not going to be all or nothing. Oh, I'll never see nothing. No, you know what I'm saying? I get jealous. I get, you know what I'm saying? comparison envy and all that kind of stuff too that's why i'm making this video i'm just um you know what i'm saying i just noticed one way for me to kind of cut down on those negative feelings and negative moments is to stay busy stay working pup told me like the key to this joint you know what i'm saying is treating everything like it's your first song you know what i'm saying even recording making music you know what i'm saying try to make as much music as possible um I'm, I'm thankful that I have things that I actually like to do and creative passions. Cause I know, like I said, a lot of people may be in a situation where they feel like they don't have any creative passions. Well, if that's the case, you can just try something new. And if it doesn't fulfill you, um, just try to do something like, even if it's down to like helping other people or volunteering, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying? Helping other people out with being supportive. You may not have, you may not be someone who wants to like, think you're like the, the leader or the, the new person, well, you can just support somebody who thinks, you think they got something cool going on, you know what I'm saying? Everybody needs support and help and shit like that. So that'll just be a way for you to stay productive and busy, but not just be bored. And the only time you're out doing something is when you're out working um, at a job you may not necessarily like or anything like that. So yeah, it's just a way to stay out of the constant comparison that is a product of the social media age and to keep your mind, you know what I'm saying? Um, one song that's been in my mind a lot today is, uh, cause I've been dealing with these kind of issues, right? You know what I'm saying? That's why, like I said, that's why I'm making the video. Is that J. Cole song, Love Yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing, no such thing. You know what I'm saying? And that might sound cheesy, that might sound corny. It's like, yeah, whatever, nigga, you rich and famous, of course. Your life is, is fire, you could say that, you know what I'm saying? But it's like really kind of just believing in that, you know what I'm saying? Even if it don't, even if it might feel like bullshit, it's like, nah, man, I'm looking at people, this nigga life better than mine. This, this, her, her life better than mine. Like, I, I'm, I'm tight, I wish my shit was like their shit, but the more you can, everything is a lie, you know what I'm saying? Everything is, a, every belief is a lie at the end of the day. We lie to even bring ourselves into this reality. So it's like, you want to like focus on, even if something may feel like a lie, if it's a good lie, then it's a lie worth lying about, you know what I'm saying? So you may not be able to, of course, you know what I'm saying? Some people have better lies than other people, but at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like comparison don't help. And like, you never really know what people are dealing with mentally. Um, even though their external situation may look like something that need that you envy or something like that. So at the end of the day, no one's life really is better than yours. And that's like a good lie to lie to yourself about, you know what I'm saying, really believe it. And the more you can just spend time, you know what I'm saying, feeling that and getting down with that and say, okay, nobody's life is better than mine. I'm just gonna be appreciative of what I got going on and realizing that can always be worse, you know what I'm saying? You're not, if you got your freedom, you're not locked up, or you're not in a hospital bed, hey, you, you know what I'm saying? My granddad used to say, if you got your health, you can always get the rest. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of what I'm talking about in this video, like staying busy. You know what I'm saying? The more you work and the more you put yourself out there in new situations, you can attract, you never know what you can attract just by being open and trying new experiences and shit like that. So don't be, oh, I ain't got this, I ain't got that, this person's got that. If you got your health, if you can still get up and do shit, then you know what I'm saying? You good, that's, that's all you need. Keep being open, keep being positive, you know what I'm saying? and um, keep putting yourself in new scenarios and staying busy and not focusing on what the world got going on because that ain't gonna get you nowhere, you know what I'm saying? So.
Yeah, just a little message. I'm about to hop back on this train, head back to the crib. You know what I'm saying? Cool, cool day. You know what I'm saying? Nigga made some music, shot some vids. That's really my life. Like I was saying it there, I don't really got too many hobbies and shit like that. Nigga don't game. Nigga don't really play sports like that no more. You know what I'm saying? Nigga don't really go out like that. You know what I'm saying? Nigga very lonely. You niggas damn near got no friends, no relationship and shit. So it's like, I really be, I really value like my creative passions. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like that videography and making music and shit like that. So that's, uh, that's, that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? And uh, everybody has pros and cons in their life. So just know that. Stop comparing, stay busy, stay working, stay optimistic, and find your solar plexus. That's your individuality, that's your stomach region. And I was watching the Fire Ass Dolo the Pilot Man video where he was talking about what's the Garden of Eden. And that's basically the Garden of Eden is kind of like your your fifth house here, your solar plexus, your, your individuality, your Jesus Christ. So that's like the original space. Whenever you're thinking about things, starting from a center and expanding it's like you start from that center and create your upper region and your lower region you know what i'm saying from that point and that's the way that we create everything in this world so from your solar plexus from your individuality region that's how you create your physical body but that's also how you create your quote-unquote dream life or whatever like that it's like starting you know what i'm saying finding finding what makes you a unique individual you know what i'm saying and that's not by you won't find that by comparing to other people you can only know what you are an individual, what you individually love and care about and are your unique gifts and talents. And those things may not always get money. Those things may not always be re received well by the external world, but you ha have to be strong enough to know, nah, if it makes me feel that way, um, whatever makes your heart skip and your blood pump, know that that's your calling. You know what I'm saying? Go stream transracial, watch the video. But um, real shit, once you can tap into that individuality, you know what I'm saying, find out what makes you happy, no matter, like I said, if it's not getting money from the external world, or even if it's not, you know what I'm saying, um, received well by other people, the more you can tap into that, that's you entering your Garden of Eden. And then you can start from that center and create and eventually create, you know what I'm saying, the, your uh, dream life, the same way you created this physical body by starting um, from that solar plexus, that individuality, your son, and letting this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine, let it that shine and radiate outwards. And um, you know what I'm saying? Then you'll be a, a beacon to show other people that, oh, okay, damn, I don't have to do shit I don't like. I can just be myself and do what I love to do. And the more I can know that that's what I'm doing and stay true to that and, you know what I'm saying, put in the, the work and have the strength to endure, you know what I'm saying? Then eventually that'll manifest more scenarios where I don't have to work all the time for crumbs. I can really ju just get paid to be my individual self and it won't even feel like I'm doing any work, but I'll just be attracting all these things kind of magically. That's what the shadow government don't want you to know. You know what I'm saying? They want to make you, they got us left brained out in these higher shockers and thinking, oh, to get what you want in life, to get the relationships you want, to get the money you want, you got to do, you got to think, you got to be a part of this system that already exists. Well, this system is, is going to shit. We in a whole new world. And you know what I'm saying? The more you can tap into your individuality, check out them birds. Can I see them birds? Higher thoughts. I don't think you can see them. But the more you can tap into your individuality, the more you can create, you can make this world your bitch. You don't have to be, feel like a bitch for a world and for this world and do things you don't want to do and, you know what I'm saying, or attract situations that you don't really like that aren't in your favor. Nah, you can, you know what I'm saying, manifest more of our shit, but it's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult, but it's also going to be fun. You know what I'm saying? Once you know it's what you're doing and you know it's going to work, you know what I'm saying? The whole the external world might make you feel crazy and make feel like you don't know what you're doing when you tap into your, your individuality, your garden, eating, your solar plexus. But just know, because you watch St. Uno vlog, okay, I don't give a fuck. If this is my individuality, I know it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm tapped into my intuition. That's all I need to know. I don't need to, you know what I'm saying? sell myself short and who gives a fuck how it's being received by the external world i know what the fuck i'm doing and most people don't know what the fuck they're doing so another five quote to end it um i was watching euphoria that's five had a little green shit on me green bean you got a red dot in your forehead oh shit you got a red dot on your forehead too oh shit <laughs> Shout out to Biggie Smalls and like But um, yeah, I was watching Euphoria and one of the characters, Maddie, 
she was like, life is 90% confidence. You know what I'm saying? And the thing about confidence is nobody knows if it's real or fake or not. So be confident, you know what I'm saying? That's real shit, you know what I'm saying? Have the confidence in your own unique individuality, in your solar plexus. And um, realize that just because they don't feel like you may not know what you're doing, don't nobody know what they're doing. So as long as you can be confident and know that, you know what I'm saying, you can you can sell that and then you'll just attract better situations because people be afraid to be confident. But it's like, that's all it is, is fighting through that fear. Nobody really, um, you know what I'm saying, quote unquote, deserves to be confident. It's just a, a choice you make. I'm gonna be confident no matter how not confident I may feel. Um, I'm just gonna act that way. It's like fake it till you make it type shit and believe in your solar plexus, your individuality. You know what I'm saying? Green bean. Shouts Young Nudie. Ain't shit green but this lima bean. Ain't shit green but that gun on the bean. Alright, I'm done.